Okay, just got back from seeing the new My Hero Academia movie in theaters. Your Next is the subtitle for this one. Uh, definitely better than the last one. Um, the last one was a bit disappointing. I don't remember if I did a review for that one on this channel. If it is, I'll put it in the end card stuff at the end of this video. But, new My Hero movie um, with this big sort of like, ooh, what if someone else thought that All Might was talking about them with the Your Next tagline. Um, without spoiling it, that really is just the base for the plot. Um, it really doesn't go that much farther than that. Like, if you think, if you're thinking like, oh, it's going to sort of delve into like, what if someone else had become All Might's successor instead? No, it's not going to be that at all. Um, and that's. I know I just said this movie was better than the last one, but that is probably my biggest, like, gripe with this movie, is the villain is very flat and boring. He is, qu like, th this is not a big spoiler, it's fairly early into the film. Um, I guess if you absolutely don't want to know, I guess turn off the review, but it's, it's fairly early in the film. He's just a mobster. He is literally just a mafia crime boss um so really like they try to weave in some parts of like what his own justice is but it really doesn't come across with anything other than he thinks that strength is justice and um it does not go any further than that like there are there are points in this where they could have delved in a little deeper, but they just chose to make him like a cackling crazy person instead. So that was a little disappointing. Um, which with these shonen filler movies or shonen like spin-off movies, I guess you would call them. Um, the what really drives them usually is the movie original characters. So when you have a villain that kind of falls flat, it's a bit disappointing. Fortunately, the other two main movie original characters in this are actually pretty... They're not complex by any degree, but they are a lot more interesting than the villain. We've got uh, Julio, this eyepatch-wearing, motorcycle-riding, uh, very mysterious guy. Um who is, uh, and, um, Anna, who is this very prim and proper looking girl that is being dragged to this way and that throughout the film. Um, and the history that they share together and the bond that they share both as, like, people and as, like, people and as, like, metahumans, people with quirks, and how their quirks interact with each other and sort of pushed the conflict of the film along was a lot more interesting than the um, other, than the actual main villain of the film. By the way, I will say though, I do like the main villain's quirk. I'm not, they don't give it away till the end of the movie, so I'm not going to say what it is, but it is, it's a clever way to get away with him doing a lot of stuff. It's a very clever quirk that I honestly didn't think of. But back to our main movie original duo, um, I really, there is, they don't get to share space in present day on screen a lot until the very end, but anytime there is an interaction between those two, it is just very pleasant, they have great chemistry, um, and it sort of feeds into, surprisingly it feeds in thematically to the, um, idea of, like, one of the things with All Might is that he always saves people with a smile. That's, like, one of the things that, like, Deku admires about him, and so that 
uh, smile motif is woven into these movie original characters, at least with Julio, it's sort of woven into his character in an interesting way that I found very satisfying, especially uh, near the in the resolution of this whole plot. Um, aside from that, uh, it's pretty just just a pretty standard uh, shonen spin-off movie. Um, it takes if based on what the city looks like and what UA looks like, this I believe this theoretically would take place right before the final battle, like right before Shigaraki, Shigaraki and All for One start attacking UA. Um, if you're not that far in the manga, why are you watching this move, uh, this review? <laughs> um, or in the TV s series, actually, because I think, if I recall, the first half, basically the first half-ish of the final battle has already aired. Um, so it is before that, um, I guess. You, so yeah, that's sort of the relatively, that's relatively where it is in the timeline. Again, most of the, a lot of Shonen spin-off movies don't line up exactly, but this one sort of slots in nicely there. But, yeah, it's a pretty standard Shonen spin-off movie. Uh, the, I will say the, the villain, aside from the main villain's quirk, a lot of the, like, side villain quirks are just kind of, like, variations of quirks that we've already seen. And so it's a... It's a bit less interesting than I was hoping for. Um, and there's one quirk in particular that is basically just a, okay, we're going to stop the plot from progressing be by how this quirk works. We're just going to halt it in its tracks, which is um, frustrating. It's, um, and it's also sort of a, variant of a quirk that we've seen before, in spe especially in how that quirk is overcome. So, again, I grew up on Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Z movies, so I'm used to movies cribbing from the series proper. Nothing new for me, but if you're a bit of a newer Shonen fan, uh, might be a little disappointing for you, but eh, who knows? That's just, just something to go into it. Um, now, I, I do wish they had done a little bit more with the cast as a whole. Like, we get, like, the big bombastic opening sequence of them chasing down some escaped prisoners, and then, like, they get a few cuts in the final battle at the end, but one of the things that I like so much about My Hero is the cast, and that there is such a plethora of fun characters to work with, like the first movie, uh, Two Heroes, does that really well. And so I was kind of hoping this movie would do it, especially because I think, if I recall correctly, the third movie, World Heroes Mission, did barely did that at all. And it sort of focused mostly on our, our main trio of Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki. This film does that as well. Not quite as much, but it is definitely their movie again, um, which honestly can't complain about too much because I really like them. Like, there's this great Bakugo Todoroki tag team uh, bit near the end, um, and the fights are really good uh, on the whole. Um, by the way, I didn't know before going into this until I saw it on screen that this was directed by Tensai Okamura. Like, what are you doing here, man? If you're not familiar, he's, like, a classic Bones animator and just classic, like, shonen director in general. He did Darker Than Black and, um, Blue, Blue Exorcist, the first season of Blue Exorcist, and I believe the first, at least the first season of Seven, Seven Deadly Sins. So big, big shonen action director. Um... But, 
I think he was definitely a good pick for this one, just in how incredibly well-paced this uh, film is. It's very fast, very rarely, like, anything that just, aside from that one particular quirk, um, very rarely anything that just grinds the plot to a halt. Um, there's a lot, there's a decent amount of intrigue going on, and the fights are good. The fights are really dang good. I know a lot of people complain about My Hero movies taking away animators from the TV series. I didn't hear that complaint that much this time around. Also, that's not a thing. That's not how that works. But, um... I wonder if they, uh... I just, people just got over that, or if Bones just has a healthier schedule this time around. Um, this movie looks really dang good. Um, one of the weird things about the pre I, can, I know I keep dunking on the last movie, but one of the weird things about the last movie is that it kind of sets itself up to be like, ooh, look at all this Sakuga we're doing right here. Isn't this cool? But it feel, felt a little disconnected from the rest of the visual film storytelling, I guess. Um, this one, this film has one sequence like that, where it's like, it's the final cut of the final fight, where it's just like, okay, you're just having a laugh now. Like, space, physical space means absolutely fucking nothing in that moment, and it's just like, you just want to put fun colors on screen and stuff. And you know what? There were fun colors on screen. So if that's what you're looking for in your Sakuga, you're going to get it. Um, but there are also some, just in general, a lot of really great action scenes. Not a lot of, like, really, like, impacting moments. There's not a lot of physicality and, like, weight. But it is very fluid. It's very technical in some areas. And it's generally just really good looking um some stuff near the beginning of the film is a little shaky but otherwise good looking and of course it's got the classic uk hayashi score so you're gonna hear all your favorite my hero tracks in this one um yeah if you're a my hero a my hero fan go for it if you were now see I was actually, like, kind of discouraged by the trailer, because I was like, what the heck are we going to do with this All Might imposter thing? And I know this is bad to... probably bad to say, but them not doing anything with that probably made the film better, because I don't really think they could have done anything interesting with... Well, they could have done something interesting. I don't think they could have done something good with that. Also, with the target audience for this film because this has this film also has some like uh uh shonen gags in it like some real like ah! like gags just uh it, very clear that that was aiming for a li little bit younger audience than usual with my hero um but yeah good film Probably give it like a decent seven, maybe. It's just, it's a good film. Would recommend it. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. I don't know if there's any more anime films coming out in the rest of the year. Um, I know they just announced that the new Naoko Yamada movie is coming out at the start of January, so I probably... Won't see you till then if you're not watching the seasonal wrap-up show. But also, you should be watching the seasonal wrap-up show because I'm in the middle of the summer season right now. I'm going to get to the new season of My Hero eventually. Um, and until then, my name is Ember, and I'll see you next time.